Hey everyone, Jason Wackerly here. And my cat Orion. And as you can see, it is really cold outside right now. I'm preparing my fishing gear for the cold water season right now. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips on what to do to combat ice on your rods, your rod guides, and your fishing line when you're fishing, and to also make sure your reels don't freeze up. All right, first thing is first. Monofilament fishing line performs a lot better than braided fishing line when it comes to cold weather. Braided fishing line is kind of like super thin rope and if you know anything about rope, if you put rope in water, it's going to soak up water like a sponge. So what I like to do when the water temperatures start dropping, the snow starts flying, I like to switch to monofilament, whether I'm ice fishing, I'm open water fishing. Sorry if you hear my cats running around. But if you're open water fishing, ice fishing, and you've got snow on the ground, you've got ice forming, it's gonna form on your fishing line too. So I switch over to tri Berkley Trilene XL. It comes in the red box. They have a blue box and a red box. The XT is the blue box. That line is better for bait casting gear. It's a lot stiffer, but the XL in the red box is a lot more limp and manageable. So you can put that on spinning reels. And I like to use line six, eight, and 10 pound test. I, I go with six pound test, no more than eight pound if I'm jigging for walleyes or just jigging in general. This is six pound monofilament. And I go with a 10 pound if I'm throwing rapalas and jerk baits, crane baits, like you see right here deadly fall lure for walleyes and bass and pike but it comes in the color green and it comes in a clear color and it doesn't matter what kind you use but make sure you switch over to monofilament because you're gonna thank me if you do because you're gonna be sitting there chiseling ice off your line trying to dry out the braided fishing line and i love braided fishing line i would use this year round if it didn't get so cold here in wisconsin but it salts up water like a sponge it freezes to no end and it just becomes a big headache because it leaves behind water on your fishing guides your fishing rod guides and what i do to combat ice on your fishing rod guides which is the things your line flows through on your fishing rod i take like a pam cooking spray just an original this isn't pam this is just generic but you spray each guide going down your rod up your rod with that and you might have to reapply it if you're fishing throughout a long day or night but it helps keep the ice off off your guides helps you keep casting smoothly again it takes away the headache of having to chisel and melt ice off your fishing rod and reels I've heard of guys putting this on their fishing line on the spool of their reel itself, but I don't want to have cooking spray on my fishing reels. For that, you can buy a product that comes in a blue bottle called Reel Magic. And that stuff makes your fishing line super manageable. It keeps ice off of it. That's a pretty good product, but just a generic can of cooking spray on your rod guides keeps the ice off your guides really well and at the at the end of the fishing trip you just take a paper towel wipe your guides and it doesn't leave behind any sticky residue or nothing but another thing you need to do is manage your fishing reels and this one i just got taken apart what you want to do is you want to use a sub-zero oil like a tip-up oil for ice fishing and ice fishing reel reels tip-ups frable sub-zero beaver dam makes a good oil for reels and tip-ups but it's got to be made to withstand the cold because if you don't put this stuff in your reels 
the inside of your reels can start freezing up. What I like to do is just take the, the tip up oil and just put it right on the shaft of the spool, put it on the inside of the handle. And another thing I like using year round actually, I like using that tip up oil year round. I put it on all my reels no matter what, but I also like to use Ardent Real Butter Real Oil. And I'll take little tiny screwdrivers, open up the reel slightly, just so that the side plate just slightly comes off. Don't lose the screws, it's very easy to because they're tiny. And you just squirt some of that real butter inside your reel. You can even apply a little bit to the same place as you put the Sub-Zero oil, but it just makes your reels so much smoother. And well, if you take the precautions and the steps towards managing your fishing gear, your reels last longer. There's less friction on the gears and the ball bearings and everything else. And it makes it a lot more comfortable fishing when you're fishing with a really smooth reel. And I do this to all my fishing reels. This reel butter works like magic. I love it. And so does the Sub-Zero. I mean, this is Frable Sub-Zero. I also use Beaver Dam Company's Sub-Zero oil. But I've been fishing in cold weather my whole life. And I've gone through every headache I've tried to fish braided fishing lines straight through fall and the winter. And I just find myself taking my fishing reel and going, <sighs> blowing warm air on it and trying to keep the ice off of it when I'm using braid. And I'm talking, once the temperatures drop 35 degrees and lower, start using the monofilament fishing line. You'll thank me. You don't have to spray your guides with cooking oil, but I do, and it helps me out a lot. It, I mean, I'm not sitting there picking ice off of every single guide on my rod after every three casts. It helps you fish presentations a lot more smoothly and efficiently, because if you got ice building up on your rod and your lines, it's gonna start grinding, it's gonna start coming through your rod guides with the line just grinding down the, the guides, just throwing off the action of your fishing lures. So whatever keeps the ice off your rods, your reels, your line, take the precautions if you're a cold water fisherman because if you don't, you'll be sorry once you're out there. And you don't wanna wear your gear out. You don't wanna mess up the guides on your fishing rods and trying to chisel out the ice and you suddenly break a guide or a rod tip. I've been there, done that, and this is why I am making this video. So you guys can have a few tips here for fishing cold water. Not every fishing reel, unfortunately, comes with two spools. I love when they do because I'll put braided fishing line on one spool and monofilament on the other. But these are just more spools I have with monofilament on there. And not every reel I own has two spools that came with it. So if you have to sit there and take the braid off your fishing line, just save it onto another spool. Put that monofilament on there. Once the next spring comes, put the braid back on. Because like I said, I would love to fish braid year round. It's sensitive, strong as steel. I mean, it's I've hauled in logs on 10 pound braided fishing line and couldn't even believe it. I mean, entire tree branches, crap like that. I reeled in a bike one time, a 10 speed bicycle that some idiot threw off a bridge and I didn't break my fishing line, but if I'm gonna be sitting there dealing with, you know, the headache of chiseling ice out of my fishing rods, my line, I'm gonna sit there and switch over to monofilament and just save myself the headache. It's not gonna be 100% ice free, but it is a hell of a lot better than braided fishing line once the temperature drops below 35 degrees. 
I hope this information helps you guys, and I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my page and support my page so I have a reason to keep making videos. I'm just taking you guys along on my fishing adventures, trying to teach you guys what I know about fishing. We're all still learning. We're all... Nobody can know enough about fishing. And when you think you know everything, the fish will throw you curveballs and teach you damn well that Mother Nature beats us before we beat Mother Nature, basically. I mean, you can have the perfect conditions, everything lined up in your favor, and you still might not catch fish some days. But if there's little tricks that help everything become more, more, become more comfortable, smoother, less of a headache, I'm all for that stuff, and that's why I wanted to make this video and show you guys how to deal with cold weather. It is walleye season, trout, salmon season, we're catching a lot of pike. Fish feed very heavily before winter, packing on body fat and trying to nourish their eggs for the next spring when they spawn. So it's a good time to be out on the water. Everyone likes to go hunting, that's fine. People put their boats away, I think, way too soon because the best fishing of the year is sometimes during the fall. I love fishing in spring and fall, but fall, I catch some of my biggest fish of the year, hands down, and I'm not putting the fishing gear away or wussing out when it comes to the cold weather. A lot of guys I know wuss out because it gets cold in fall, and then I see those same guys out ice fishing, and I'm like, well, where the hell were you during the fall? And it's always been a joke with a couple friends of mine because they'll sit there and freeze their asses off in the middle of a lake ice fishing, but they won't sit there and go out fall fishing. Oh, it's too cold. It's too much of a shock to my system. Blah, blah, blah. Wusses. If you're watching this, you know who you are. <laughs> But if you guys liked this video, found it helpful, subscribe to my page, hit the like button. Subscribing is free. You just got to click subscribe and you get all my latest content and it helps my page tremendously. Good luck fishing. Stay safe out on the ice when you ice fish. Stay safe on the roads. There's a lot of deer running around getting hit by cars lately because they're kind of in the middle of the rut. Just stay safe, catch some fish, and take care.